Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of Banjo-Tooie. Last episode, we continued our exploration of, uh, not Freeze Easy Peak, but Hailfire Peaks, mostly on the cold side, including getting a jiggy from our old friend, Boggy. This episode, we're gonna try and come press this button, if we could, and then we're going to enlist the help of our old friend, Mumbo! The switch has been pressed. Excellent, we are heavy enough to do the thing. Oh, very good, very good. Now we can travel to and from pretty much everywhere. Uh, it seems that all the places are connected. What is this? This is a door. The door doesn't look like it's for me. I had another small idea. I tried this already last time, um, but I didn't try it over here. So can I make this jump? Nope, I cannot. That's fine. Okay, so what I was talking about, though, are these, like, ice circles. I feel like I should be heavy enough to break that. Like, I feel like that should be used somehow, but I am wrong, clearly. Okay, well, let's go get Mumbo. Uh, in order to do so, of course, we need to be the bird and bear. Okay, so on the listing of warps, this is listed as Mumbo. Um, I see no Mumbo. There's no Mumbo here. We're getting double friggin' assaulted. The fire boy burns us, throws us into the flaming hot boiling pool. Don't touch me. Uh, so Mumbo has to be close by. And I guess we didn't explore this left half of the place yet. So he's undoubtedly in this location. Let's go lower first. Uh, lower is taking us up. I don't, I don't know. We're exploring, all right? There's gonna be a lot of exploration in a blind LP. Uh, lava side. Is this where we just were? This is, <laughs> oh, that's helpful. Drop down to get up. Excuse me, buddy, I have no need for your handiness. And that is not the method of destruction. We're gonna have to, oh, we gotta use ice. We gotta use ice, 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 baby. There's Mumbo, hello. Now where is your Globo? Huh? Like we have a we have a glow oh there it is. I'm coming for you, Globy. Oh you you giggle? Uh, you are now captive. Oh Oh Well that's handy, thank you for that, Mr. uh Mr. Dragon. I appreciate your contributions to our adventure. What is this? Can we No we can't destroy it, whatever that is. Neither can the dragon. But there is a switch over here. We're getting on all sorts of different uh, branches of this adventure, but it's fine. We're, we're making things happen. This switch opens that one. And that one is just like a, a quick travel thing to and fro. Looks like it, but we will invest. Don't touch me. Do not touch me, all right? It's highly frowned upon. Let's just let's test that out real quick just to see what it is that it does. I mean, what else? Yeah, it, it did exactly that. Okay. What is this tent for, anyways? It's very strange. This is not exactly the most ideal spot for camping. Frankly, I'm surprised that it hasn't spontaneously combusted. It hasn't burst into flames, given the proximity to the lava, right? Like, the temperatures here have to be astrophrigonomical. But hey, maybe it's a, a special fiber only found in these parts that's highly resistant to extreme temperatures. So we can do a whole lot now that we can fly. So we're gonna land. <laughs> There's still stuff on the ground I wanna do, gosh darn it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. If we take these stairs, where about do we go? Is this gonna take us all the way up, like where the dragon is and fight him? No, this takes us to, to here. Why would we, why would we wanna do that? It doesn't make any sense. I would not want to do that, but we do have the Globos for, for Mumbo. We cannot forget that. Before this episode is done, we will enlist Mumbo's help because there are things to do with Mumbo. There are two things on the icy side of the mountain. But we can friggin' fly, man. I believe I can fly. I mean, I'm showcasing it, so I don't know why anyone would not believe it. Frankly, it's happening in front of us all, so... Well, I guess there are people that will disbelieve things even if they are in front of their own gosh darn faces, which is highly uh, frowned upon. But whatever. It looks like this is the only way for us to get in here. Don't touch me, bro. I hear you squealing. This is going to take us up to him. We beat Chili Billy or Chili Willy or Chili Nilly. Chili Silly Tilly Willy Philly Willy. 
He wants a Philly cheesesteak. The other guy wanted a pizza. Chili Billy. The Chili Willy, the hot and spicy dragon. Ooh. You must be the pizza delivery boy that beat up my poor brother. Uh, he tried to eat us. I suppose you'll be wanting pizza too. Yes, please. I ordered a spicy meat special. Well, tough. We got none. I'm sure you have. Give me my pizza. I'll do no such thing. You are markedly tougher than your brother. My god, you're firing off like an automatic weapon. Jimmy Christmas. Well, oh, so cold. You get more, and you have twice as much health as your brother, it seems. I'll soon have you licked. I'll lick you, you lizard. How do you like them apples, huh? You've never been licked by a bear before, have you? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Salmon, hate it. Yeah, he definitely fires a heck of a lot faster. Oh, this is gone. Yep, a lot faster than his uh, sibling there. Oh, don't, don't lick me, bro. Don't lick me. That's gross. You apparently have toxic chemicals all over that. Cool. Yeah, so this, the, uh, the things come out markedly faster. Oh, I thought I could sneak one in there. Apparently not. So these, yeah, these guys go away a lot quicker. So I guess, it, I don't know. I was really expecting a Jiggy from the brother. We didn't get one. We're definitely going to get one here because look at how difficult this is. Ah, it only lets you do a couple. What? His toxic tongue hit me from there. Blabadabahoom. What's a McGee? We're going to die. I don't want to die, dude. I want to win. <laughs> don't lick me. Don't. No, he licked my forehead. How about a pizza this eggs? I probably could have thought of a better pun than that, but we got him. Stop it. I don't want pizza anymore. I've had enough eggs to feed me for days. I'll go and get a takeout instead. Wait a minute, buddy. We've beaten both of you now, so I reckon we should get a trophy. A trophy, eh? Well, I've only got this. Can I have two, please? <laughs> Can I have one for each dragon? I think that'd be appropriate. He shakes his head no, as if to, to symbol that he heard my question and answered accordingly. Mm, I reckon I'll go get a couple of Big Al burgers. A couple, huh? You probably need like a couple dozen. Granted, you have a smaller body than your neck and head would lead one to believe, but still, my man, you're massive. I can't imagine that two burgers be you know, thousands of calories that they may, it would sustain you very much. Ah, <sighs> no matter. We care not for the sustenance of lizards. We care only for the sustenance of the barren bird craving jiggies. And we have gotten two of them so far in this stage. One last episode, one this episode. Could we fly to the cold mountain? No. We gotta go through a map change. Okay, well that's fine. Let's go back down and mm, is this someplace that we haven't been oh that's right we need to cool this still I'm not sure how uh there is something though for us here it's a it's a honeycomb don't really want to do that right now because then it'll it'll make the travel over to mumbo's far more complicated than flying like we got it good right here man we got a direct flight right into the mouth that is his door hello mumbo It'd be nice if we could just stay flying and just flap our way up the stairs like, Hey, man, <laughs> nice place you got here. Don't mind if I poop on it. Like a, like a bird would, you know, when they fly. Anyways, we have the Globo required to get this boy in our good, or in get us in his good graces. Here, either which way, doesn't matter. We have the creature that you desire, buddy. Deliver upon his sack. There we go. And it's nice, too, the Globos are, like, okay with this. Like, that's a happy noise. That's not a, oh, my God, I've been abducted, save me, noise. That's a, hey, <laughs> what's up? It's me. <laughs> I'm a Globo. I'm magic. Sacrifice me as you will. Uh, so now we can take Mumbo back over to the ice side where, like I mentioned earlier on in the episode as well as last episode, we have two pads for him to use. Now, getting him there is going to be the trouble. Gosh darn it, is Mumbo... Mumbo is not invulnerable to fire. 
It's too bad. I mean, you friggin' live here, guy. You'd think you'd gotten at least a little bit used to it. Maybe not submerging yourself in lava used to it, I suppose, but at least touching the locals used to it. How the heck are you getting your grocery? How are you getting the change from your groceries? Maybe Mumbo uh, operates with his transactions purely losing plastic. He's a, uh, you know, a, a Visa man himself. So we need the Wumba side because the Wumba side has one, not wum, <laughs> one of them. And then there's another one that's a little bit further down, but it's largely on the same side here. So where is the Mumba? It's over here, isn't it? Mumby, Mumby, Mumby see, Mumby do, Mumby crave, Mumby help you. By help, I mean we're going to go break. Hopefully he can break the ice. I guess I didn't think of that. But since the ice froze back over, we had destroyed this block of ice earlier last episode. Hopefully it can be destroyed by him. It froze over really quickly, so I'd have to imagine that they intend for Mumbo to... Yeah, Mumbo can do. Mumbo can fall and get stuck in the snow. Great. The ice physics are killing me here, man. Okay, what if we just line the camera up and go nice and easy? Just like, not down! Maybe we need to, like, face forward a little bit. I can't, I can't do that. The camera doesn't want to cooperate. We can go inch by inch. Man, why is this so difficult? This should not be this hard. <laughs> oh, oh, we're sliding. Come on, we can do this. Here we go, goodness gracious. What is your power, Mumbo? Are you going to resuscitate the alien life force? Alien dad, he is! The man that hath plummeted. He's already awake, wow. That was quick. <laughs> Mumbo, your magic works so quickly. Not even a minute to let it set in. Big drop of hurt lots. Where am I? You dead. Mumbo used powerful shaman magic. You alive. Oh, didn't need puny earthling magic. Could have used special powers instead. Spaceman, ungrateful. Waste Mumbo's time. Me should teach lesson. Oh, sorry, sorry, strange friend. My special powers are low and we need your help. Our three children escaped the ship before we crashed in the lagoon. If you can find and return them to me safely, I'll bestow the earth with wondrous gifts. Mumbo, light gifts, not tacky, not tacky alien merchandise, though. Kids will be hiding from danger until they detect alien signal. Oh, they're in the ice. But how break ice? There's a child right here. He said there was three of them. And we just saw where they all are all at. Perfect. So we know where they're at. Now the problem becomes plummeting to our friggin' death, of course, but also becomes learning how to open up those holes. Like, I got nothing for that. Maybe Mumbo can do it? Maybe or maybe we have a, there's a move that we need that we don't have yet. I don't know. Can Mumbo do it? Mumbo cannot do. That's okay. We will uh, we'll come back to figure that out with the bird and bear. But right now, we got to go on another little adventure with Mumbi here. If we can. Can he ascend to this? I think this is where we need to go. No, is it? Hey, Nigel's thawed. Nigel is thawed. Nigel is not thawed. Nigel is still stuck in the ice. Okay. Where do we need to go to? Do we have to ascend to this? Can we electrocute this? Can this? Oh, hey, that's the train track. I see now. So that train button that opened that opens that thing. And we can go get that jiggy? Presum presumably? I don't know. I could be just making an assumption here. And they know, you know what they say about assumptions, right? And make something out of you and me. I don't know. Whatever. Let's do magic here. What is this one called, Mumbo? What do you have for Life Force Saber Man? He's got a saber. Okay. Or, or is he like a saber tooth? Man, he's got some really hideous mandibles in there. He's gray. He is frostbitten to heck and back. Oh, many thanks, young son. Why, I've been frozen in there since 1984. Oh, smashing. Oh. Mumbo thinks he's crazy old man. Oh, it's quite possible. I come from a golden age where wolves were kings. The name's Saber. Adventuring is my game. Or at least was my game. What cable man doing in ice block? Oh, that cursed saber boost haste me all the way here. 
Well, I was frozen in my tracks by the ice dragon. I'm rather cold. Could you see your way to warming me up? Mumbo, not do that, but no bear that might. There we go. Okay, so we can come and, and heat up friggin' Nigel there, and that'll be good. Let's take extra care to not die. <laughs> I'd like to, you know, maintain our living status here a little bit longer. Uh, so we have a couple of things that we can we can do. Unfortunately, neither of those produced immediately results or immediate results like I had hoped they would. That dude didn't even produce a honey, which I friggin' need. Yeah, I had hoped that doing either of those mumbo things would have gotten us a jiggy uh, quicker, but at least they they put us in the right direction of a jiggy. So I'm going to go grab the bear and bird and return back here to work on those. What's up, buddy? Okay, so I really feel like I should be able to to beak these out. Like, they should go the heck away, but they don't. But they do. I did that. What's wrong with that? Uh, beats me. You could try beak to mouth resuscitation. Yeah, no chance. Oh, uh, then this is a job for a professionally qualified doctor. Uh, who's who's the doctor? The child is dead. Okay, well, there was another one, I believe, over this way. So, hey, dude, your your child's like right by you. You want to go fix that? I mean, our job was just to return to connect you with the children, not to. You know, not to not to not to assess their medical condition or take them out to Chili's or help them with their school shopping. Oh uh, boy. Okay, so why did we even need to grip grab our way over there like we did? We could have just Whoa, hello buddy. Nice to see you too. Alright, this this child lives, thankfully. Get out. No oh, thanks, Earthling. <laughs> Wrong way, buddy, that's the ocean. They have waded off into the sea, never to be seen again. Isn't that just horrifying? Okay, well, we'll take the damage hit, but that was way quicker than grip grabbing over there. Uh, the third child was not on, or in, in a thing. The third child was like up on top of something. So if we go back up this, will this lead us to the other I mean, it presumably would, right? Where else is it gonna go? <laughs> Yes, it does lead us to the other side, over here. Don't touch me, dude. Don't touch me. And then the child is over here somewhere. Oh, it's up, up, isn't it? Nope, not having it. All right, I'm going to split up. Thank you. And if no, yes, I always want to press B. I, don't, I just want to swing my backpack around. I cannot help it. And would I be able to flip up there? No, but I could glide if I was just a bit higher. How can I get higher? I could get higher over here. Oh, hey, there's some notes we haven't got yet. We should probably do that before we forget. Let's get the fire out. Because we are getting close. Uh, for most of the LP, we've been getting uh, the jam jars techniques at a pretty like reasonable gap, I guess, between the required notes and then what we had. But they're starting to get close. They're starting to get close. And we are going to be close in our descent here. I think we have just enough height to reach this child. Perfect. Hello. Cool, little alien baby. Ooh, mummy. Don't look at me, kid. <laughs> Don't look at me. This is so cold. Mummy, daddy, me no like cold earthling planet. Go home. Go home. What? Do I have to come here? Is the bird and the bear? Is there a flight pad somewhere? What kind of crap is this? Can I just fire you? Motivate you this way? No. There's nothing we can do for you. Nothing at all. Or, wait, what? Are we nesting on it? Oh man, I was just, ha, <laughs> great. Me nice and toasty now. Eh, time to go home. What kind of, wow. I got lucky there, not gonna lie. I was just messing around, kind of frustrated to be honest because I had no idea what I was supposed to do. Uh, oh, where am I going? I need to reunite myself with the burr. It's nice that we have the uh, the glide. It's almost like using the, uh, oh goodness gracious, I'm forgetting the name of the tool. The, uh, the glider from Breath of the Wild. Like you can take it out, put it away, take it out and slow your fall. It's pretty handy dandy. 
Uh, so I am going to try once more uh, for this, this baby alien. I'm going to see if Mumbo coming back, since he was able to resuscitate the parent alien in that same place, I wonder if Mumbo can resuscitate the child and reunite them. Don't burn yourself, buddy. Not very close. All right, so I'm going to grab the doctor, and I will see you over there. Behold, my arch-freaking nemesis, the slippery slope, the path of ice. Just do it, man. Gosh darn it. My impatience is truly my undoing, is it not? I just need to chill out. All right, if we press this, can we? I mean, he's doing something. Life force alien child. Look at that. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm glad. I mean, that, that made sense to me that it would work because they were right there. Um, now, will we have to change back to the barren bird in order to receive our prize is the question. Oh, thank you. Earthlings, not all brain dead. Why do you have to have the, back, the backhanded compliment, man? Why do you got to say stuff like that? That's completely unnecessary. I've done helped all of you out like a million times, and you guys are so gosh darn irresponsible. You have done well, Earthling, but I shall now have to exterminate you all for taking so long. N have you kids seen my laser anywhere? Uh, ah, it must be on the ship. Your race is spared for now, Earthling. Stand clear. Beaming up sequence initiating. <laughs> that one was flapping his gums all weird. <laughs> They all exclaimed as they flew away. Excellent! Well, now we do get our prize. And I want it. Wait, where is it? It's below us. Come to me, prize! Oh, not before bashing my face in the ground. Why are you going to dive face first, Mumbo? That is surely not the, uh, the best method of, of descent. And that's not the best method of ascent either, at least for him. He's got to take the slope. It would seem he does not have the hops required to uh, to jump up that. So now we're gonna get the burden bear, so that we come back and talk to that dude. Oh, Marion. Hello, Nigel. What's he doing? How is it very nice to see you? I say, any chance of a little heat? Oh, a little heat, you say? I've got the heat you require. Oh, and it's noxious too. Open wide. He says. Again, you crave. Uh, it made a good noise. Two, three. Three is the magic number. And his ooh, rosy hue returns to him. And he inserts whatever artifact that was. That's so much better. Glad to help an old hero. Being frozen for so long has tired me. I need a cup of tea in 40 weeks. Could you possibly help me out just one more time? Of course. This sounds like a job for you, Banjo. Can you carry me back to my tent? It's over on the fiery side of the mountain. If it hasn't burnt down by now. Oh, okie dokie. So now we know who owns that uh, fine little piece of <laughs> piece of land there. The the lodging situation, as I mentioned, less than uh, less than sturdy, but clearly it's sturdy enough to keep that thing there for as long as he's been frozen. So we got to taxi pack him is what that means. So it's split up right quickly. We'll grab him and I guess just take the warp back over there. Should be pretty simple. If that's all it takes to get the Jiggy, then this will be probably the easiest one we've had in a while. I don't know. There was a lot of steps, right? We had to bring Mumbo over here, then Banjo and Kazooie over here, and then just Banjo. I don't know. I mean... Mm, he says, yes, you're going to stuff an old man in your sack. Isn't it exciting, Banjo? It truly... The dream of every adult bear everywhere. Except by stuff adult man into the sack, I mean, you know, eat an adult man. It seemed that many bears would like to do that because, you know, they're, they're big and they're hungry and carnivorous for, you know, uh, many reasons. Just stay away from bears, all right, is the point I'm getting at here. I'd like to teleport back over, please, to the fireside lower by Mumbo. Except it's not really by Mumbo. I've mentioned that a few times now. It's kind of the furthest from Mumbo that any of these pads titled Mumbo have been. Thankfully, though, it's very close to uh, Nigel Thornberry's little outpost here. We will drop him off. We... There you go, buddy. Let me grab you. <laughs> pulling a rabbit out of your hat? No, pulling an old man out of your backpack. My tent, my equipment. It's just as I left it all those years ago. 
It's probably worthless anyway. My treasure is still here too. You may have it, kind sir. It's a fine golden jigsaw piece, no use to me. I'm hanging up my boots. You're hanging up your boots, you say? Where are you going to hang them? You leaving? Does that mean you're retiring? Oh, he is. He is moseying on over to his cot and collapsing on top. Wow, yeah, I bet you're tired, man. <laughs> oh, I wonder what adventures may await. Who knows, buddy, but we have now reached our 54th Jiggy. Delightful. And let's see, what's our total at for this stage? I've had a lot of fun with uh, with Hailfire Peaks. Eh, only four? Feels like we've gotten more than that. And only two of five Jinjos. Uh, all of the moves and all of the Globos, though, so we're doing good there. Four, four of ten is not a lot. It's, it's less than I thought. But I guess there are still things to explore, particularly on the fire side. We still need to figure this out. How do we cool this down a little bit? And then, have we gone inside the mountain at all? I think we need to go inside the mountain. Then, of course, we need to figure out the Call of Friggin' Seam. We need to figure out how to get over as a, as a stony, because that is not the, uh, the transformation here. Maybe we should poke around a little bit more in there and see if there's some sort of connection between that and uh, Mayahem Temple. And then again, there's the train, too. I don't know. These are a lot of things to work on, and we're going to work on them next time. So thank you so very much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed yourself. And with that said, thanks once more again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.